What is not working? Trying my absolute hardest right now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be doing a makeup video today. I know that I have not done a makeup video for the longest time and I'm honestly missing it so much. Today we are gonna be doing a Barbie transformation. Now I've already done the Barbie Ferreira transformation. This is not Barbie Ferreira, although I love her. This is gonna be full on Barbie dream house, pink fantasy transformation. I don't know if you guys saw my Fashion Nova video. If you haven't watched that then Go check it out but i tried on this pink two-piece outfit and it just like was the perfect barbie costume like the plastic it's fantastic so i have had this blonde wig and these blue contacts sitting here for ages and i was like i just need to do a barbie transformation we're gonna become mid-sized barbie today love mid-sized barbie she is my favorite because i feel like halloween has not been popping off this year i guess because we're in a pandemic that probably explains it i want to get back to my makeup roots and just have a go at doing this transformation okay so first of all before we get into the video i want to thank the sponsors of today's video function of beauty you guys know that i love function of beauty's hair care my mum actually uses it as well now but today we are actually going to be talking about their skincare which i've been trying out recently and have been absolutely loving it you also get your name on the bottle so i have function of Susie on it Basically, you just do this really quick five minute quiz and you answer what your skin sensitivity is, what your skin goals are, and also if you'd prefer it to be non-scented or scented. I went non-scented because I am very sensitive in my skin. And then it puts the ingredients in that skincare product that are suited to your skin. You also get to put your name on it, which is the funnest part of everything. And the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at this beautiful. They also gave me this super cute headband that says do you on it but it's backwards so when you take selfies then you can see the words because it puts it backwards like a mirror. I remember some of my skin goals were hydrate, even tone and reduce breakouts. I'm just gonna go and quickly wash my face with the cleanser jelly which I have been loving. It is so sensitive and well suited to my skin. It is beautiful. It comes in a little pump which I absolutely love. Okay, I am all washed up and now I'm going to apply the moisturizer, which I got in the gel form. You also have the choice to get it in a cream form or a lotion form. This just feels so hydrating, which is literally all I want in a moisturizer. And the serum I've been loving for nighttime. This is all vegan and cruelty free. Of course, you guys know that's important to me. Function of Beauty are sustainability focused. They are also all sulfate and paraben free because you do not want that nastiness in your skincare products. Function of Beauty have given us an exclusive early access link. So head to my description box and you can get an extra 10% off your first skincare bundle and also a little free selfie headband as well. So we can be twinsies. I'm gonna leave this on for the rest of the tutorial because I feel cute. Should I do my wig or my makeup first? Actually, I feel like the wig's gonna get in the way. So let's do makeup first. So I am gonna take some inspiration from Candy Johnson. Five years ago, she did this Barbie transformation, which has 34 million views on YouTube. Like 34 million people have seen that video. That's just insane. We love Candy Johnson. She is one of the absolute OGs of YouTube. I also am sure you guys know of Abby R Artistry. If you do not, she is like a makeup TikToker and Instagrammer and she is like, she's 19 and she holds so much talent. But she also did a Barbie look a while ago on TikTok. So I'm gonna take some inspiration from that as well because it is really, really good. I am not a makeup artist, but like, I'm just gonna try my best guys. And that's all you can do in the end. Okay, so I have a Jeffree Star mirror. I am sorry, I'm gonna do a DIY on it and like paint it or something, but it was a lovely present from my friend, so I'm not chucking it out. I feel like we should start with eyebrows. Um, mine are very, very overgrown at the moment. <sighs> yes, that is the situation of my eyebrows at the moment. They have been Crazy. I'm also not gonna mention the fact that I have a dinner at 6.30 and it is currently 4.30. So I feel like this is gonna take me longer than <laughs> I have the time for, but we're gonna try our best to get this done in under two hours. Oh 
Okay, I'm just thinking. I have this color in my James Charles palette right here, which kind of looks like blonde eyebrows. So what if I cover my eyebrows up with that and then it'll look like they're blonde? That sounds like a plan to me. That sounds like a plan. That sounds like a DIY hack and I love it. I've already had to take off part of the makeup. Not going fantastic so far. Gonna take my concealer <laughs> and conceal my brows. Gorgeous, perfect, beautiful. And then we're gonna take that blondie kind of color She did the mesh, she did the monster mesh. It was a mesh, it was a graveyard smash. She did the mesh. They low key look like blonde eyebrows now. <sighs> now I'm gonna go in with that concealer and I'm gonna try like cut around them and shape them out. Barbie ain't got no stray hairs like I do. That's for sure. Sisters, not twins. <laughs> That's all right. I'm not mad at this so far. I feel like that worked. I'm gonna, we ain't a white star, so I'm gonna take the rest of that concealer and dab it on my eyes as an eyeshadow base. It's the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. Now for the eyeshadow. So of course, Barbie has like a pink cut crease. Oh my God, I look terrifying. There she blows. Gonna use my James Charles palette. I'm gonna use these little pink colors down here because they are the brightest pinks I have. I think I'm gonna start with like this neon pink in my crease. I actually cleaned my makeup brushes, guys. I haven't cleaned them in so long. I'm gonna take that neon pink down here. I feel like this is gonna be actual hell to blend out, but that's okay. You know what? I'm actually going to blend it out by taking that color above it and try and blend them together. I don't know. I'm just experimenting, guys. I feel like that's blending out pretty well. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, 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 blend. Hi, Ken, you wanna go for a ride? Sure, Ken, hop in. Who else found that guy from, oh, what was that band called? Aqua? He was really creepy. They also did Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones, dun, dun. oh no, Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. Okay, that's like pretty blended out. <laughs> it's good enough for me. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Obviously, Barbie has like a darker color in her cut crease. It's kind of like a purpley mauve color. So I guess I'm going to take this color here and I think I'm gonna take it on like a little brush like this. Oh, and it's wet and I just got the eyeshadow wet. Yay. That's why I don't clean my brushes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try blend that right above where my cut crease is gonna be. I think this is the first time I've used colored eyeshadows in ages, in like a hot ass minute. This one looks so good. <laughs> this one is not working. Okay, I feel like that looks pretty spot on. So I guess now I'm just gonna try cut out my crease. And then on the lid, she has like a white kind of color. I guess I could use, hmm. I guess I could use like this white sparkly color up here, or maybe I should just use a plain white like this. I'm gonna try <laughs> cut my crease out by taking the end of a little spoolie on my makeup wipe, and then I'm just gonna like draw it out. If 
Does that make sense? Like, do, do we see what I'm doing? Now I'm gonna take the concealer again that I used before and the brush that I used to cut my eyebrows out with. I'm talking like this is a tutorial, but I'm literally just trying my absolute hardest right now. Okay, and oh God, I haven't done this in ages. We're gonna try cut the crease. I just realized the face I was making that entire time was hideous. I'm gonna like dab it out with my finger now. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with that stark white color that I was showing you guys before. And I'm literally just gonna dab it on with my finger. Oh. This is not the cleanest thing I've ever done, but it's also not the worst thing I've ever done. Now I'm gonna <laughs> go in back with that brush that we were using before with that dark purple color. Just like try and fix it up a bit. Actually, let's go in with an even smaller brush. Let's go in with like a tinsy wincy brush, like this one, the one that I use for my brows and try and fix up that line. That looks way better already. Killing it. Killing it. Barbie may be perfect, but Susie J. Todd is not. So I'm not gonna try and reach that unrealistic beauty standard. I have this sparkly little highlighter. Jesus, that won't open. I have this sparkly little highlighter from Focalore and I'm gonna, oh, it's a jelly highlighter. I forgot about that. I'm gonna put that on my lid for some glitter. Yay, we love glitter. <laughs> this is kind of like, not amazing, but it's also not horrible. Okay, now we're gonna do liner, which I feel like is gonna make this a million times better. I'm gonna use my favorite liner. This is the Folklore Super Fine Liquid Eyeliner. It is really, really good. And I'm gonna do a thick ass liner. See, I literally like went all the way up there. That's where my eyeliner is gonna be. And fill that bad boy in. Obviously that looks horrible, but I'm gonna take a makeup wipe. Voila. I have a thing where I like can't sit up straight when I'm doing my eyeliner. I'm gonna use this Focalore Bomb Lashes Volumizing Mascara. These cheap ass lashes that I got off of Wish. I think I'm gonna use these ones. Half of them just came off. <laughs> That's why they're cheap. I get all my lashes off Wish. Cause they all just come from there anyway. Okay, I'm gonna stick these on and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go and use the Uma Beauty foundation that I was using before and put a bunch of it on cause our skin is plastic. It doesn't have any blemishes. Look at that. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this, but I need a bit more. So. Now that my natural skin tone is non-existent, we're gonna put on concealer. So much concealer. And also on our lips. I'm a Manchester girl, don't hate me. And now that I look like my face is painted on, we're gonna set it. I've just got some loose setting powder. I'm just gonna take the other side of my beauty blender. I literally haven't worn this makeup in so long. I'm like drag queen level right now. Okay, now I'm just gonna like set the rest of my face with a brush. My nose looks gigantic, gigantic. Oh my God. Why does my nose look that big? 
Like it literally looks like it's taking up half of my face. I'm going to take a little brush and try my absolute best to make my nose look skinny like Barbie's. Okay, I'm kind of fixing it. It's kind of, it's kind of working. Barbie would not be caught dead with a nose that big. Tinsy nose, Tinsy Barbie nose. Okay, now obviously you have to do some contouring because Barbie's got those snatched cheekbones. I'm just gonna do a little bit of bronzy bronzy. I look like trailer trash Barbie right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna use like a sparkly color from the James Charles palette for a bit of highlighter. I feel like my nose still looks really big. I'm gonna go in with that purple color under my eye. Oh my God, I think I've got a sty coming. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna take Benefit Highbrow, which is for your eyebrows, and put it in here like a doll. And then some Bottom Lash Mascara. Hiya. Okay, and I've got a lip liner, a pink lip liner for the lips. This is not hot pink enough at all. I feel like I'm gonna have to just like take an eyeshadow. That kind of works. Okay, trailer trash Barbie, go off. like Barbie lips. That kind of works. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's the makeup. Oh, blush. Are you joking me? I almost forgot blush. Barbie's signature, signature thing. I have this little moonshot blusher thingy. I need to dry. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie guys, it is now 5.45. <laughs> How did this Trash ass makeup take me that long. How? I have a wig. I have a blonde Barbie wig. And I'm going to try put a wig cap on. I guess I'm just gonna like, I don't have that much hair so I feel like it's not gonna be a massive issue. Like that's fine. I'm gonna put another one on. Beautiful. Now my wig needs to be cut. So let's quickly do that. I got this wig from Amazon ages ago. I can't even remember what I meant to do with it, but obviously that video didn't end up happening. <laughs> so now we're using it for this. <laughs> I'm never getting blonde hair in my life. Oh Lord, oh Lord. A little bit of blush. Hi Ken. Okay, now we need to get in an outfit. Let's get in that pink Fashion Nova two piece and our transformation will be complete. <laughs> I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic, it's fantastic. You can brush my- Wait. You can brush my hair, I'm dressy everywhere. Imagination, life is your creation. So darling, darling. And this is how you can transform into trailer trash Barbie this Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you loved it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to do the Barbie voice. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi you guys. I hope you enjoyed my Barbie Halloween makeup tutorial. Did you have fun? I sure did. 
This video was a complete mess, but I'm still gonna post it because I'm low on content. <laughs> Hiya, Mom. Do you want to see my Barbie transformation? <laughs> Jenna?